Neil Battaglia, SaxStation.com. This video is an update about Jamulus and also a comparison with a similar program called Sonobus. You just heard three short examples. The first example is using Jamulus and we're using a private server. I'm playing saxophone and my friend is playing piano. We're about five miles apart when we did that. <laughs> The next example, we're using Sonobus. We're more like 20 miles apart, and it's a band in me. The third example is me going into a public group with a guitar player, and I'm actually not sure where he's located, but you can hear there's quite a bit of latency in that example. The first thing that I wanted to mention about Jamulus is that you can have more than four users. Some people were saying they even had like 100 plus people. I don't know if that's really practical to have 100 people in most situations, but you can definitely have more than four and probably up to about 12 is reasonable. You could probably go higher depending on your connections and all that. With Jamulus, there are less options. It's more simple, but it also seems that overall there's a lower latency. One of the comments on the last video that I made about Jamulus and Jamkazam suggested that I try the program called Sonobus. They said that it was like Jamkazam, but more polished and open source. It seems like there are a lot more options to control in terms of the transmission and reception of signals using Sonobus. After I tried Sonobus, I did like it, but I like Sonobus and Jamulus for different reasons. And some things that are good to know about one program are gonna apply pretty much to any program that's similar to this. I wanted to focus on four main things in this video. Overall latency, the options that you have, the ability to have private sessions and how easy it is to do that, and also how you can record using the program. So this video is a follow-up to the video about Jamulus and Jamkazam. It has a few updates about Jamulus and some things I've learned since then. I talked more about Jamkazam in the last video, so I'll link to that here. In the online documentation for Sonobus, they suggest that a practical limit for how many people you can have on a session is about a dozen people. And they say that if you had something like a 25-person choir, it'd be unlikely to work too well using their program. You're gonna need an ethernet cable, a microphone, an interface, there are a few key phrases that you probably want to understand if you're going to use a program like this. A ping is a signal that's sent from one computer to another. Latency is the time in milliseconds that it takes to go out and come back to the same computer. That means that latency is more like a round trip and ping is just one way. Sound travels at about 340 meters per second and velocity is equal to distance divided by time. You take that distance, you divide it by the velocity of sound, you get about 8.5 meters or about 28 feet. 25 milliseconds of latency is about the minimum that you're gonna to start to notice. If you get somewhat above that, it's probably okay too, but if you go too high, it's gonna to start to make a difference. It's as if you have two musicians and they're about 28 feet apart or 8.5 meters apart. If you have less than 50 milliseconds of latency on these programs, that's probably pretty good. If you have below 100 milliseconds, that's probably okay. But if you start to get over 100 milliseconds of latency, these programs are gonna to start to not work as well. One thing that I saw about Jamulus is you can definitely have more than four people on a session. The default program size, for me at least, shows only four people, but you can scroll to the side or make it larger. And the upload bandwidth of the server is going to be a big factor in determining how many people can effectively use this program together. On Jamulus, a private server can be a little bit tricky to set up. Not impossible, but a little bit more effort than you might expect. But once you do set up a private server, you can record the session that you're having. Another thing that you can try doing is starting a public session on Jamulus and then unchecking the box for public once you have the people that you want in the session. With Sonobus, one of the things that I and my friends noticed was that there seemed to be a higher fidelity right off the bat. With Jamulus, the interface isn't all that pretty and you don't have all that many options, but it does have pretty low latency. Using Sonobus, there are quite a few different options for sending and receiving data, more so than there are with Jamulus. So for instance, you can compress it more, you can compress it less. If it's uncompressed, it'll be a larger size, but basically the computers on both ends need to take time to compress the files and then to decompress them on the other side. So that time basically adds to the latency in the program. So you can choose to use more of your bandwidth and reduce the latency, or you can use less bandwidth and compress it more, but that'll add a little bit more latency in the program. A lot of things that I say about Jamulus will also apply to Sonobus and vice versa. They'll really apply to any similar program. On Sonobus, I saw some public sessions, but there weren't as many as I saw with Jamulus or Jamkazam. One person in my comments was saying that on Jamulus, there are public sessions that have up to 100 slots, but realistically, 20 to 30 is going to be more like the maximum for that program. 
If you've had good experience with large groups of people on Jamulus, go ahead and leave a comment. And let me know how many people you had and what it was like and what the latency levels kind of felt like to you. There's some different groups that you can find online to connect with other people who use Jamulus or Sonobus or Jamgazam. If the users are from the same geographic region, it'll probably work a little more smoothly. For example, someone in Europe playing with someone in California might not work too well. Sonobus and Jamulus both support private sessions. There are more options and some things are definitely easier in Sonobus. You can set up a password for a session and you don't have to really go through all the steps that you need to use in Jamulus to set up a private server. One thing that you can do to reduce the latency on Sonobus is to use uncompressed PCH. That's also going to take the most bandwidth. You can use something called the jitter buffer to basically smooth out the sound, but it's also going to add a little bit more latency. So you can manually slide it to where you stop hearing crackles and pops and make it a little more smooth. If you go too far over though, you're going to increase the latency. There is a buffer delay option in Jamulus, but there aren't as many options for something like that as there are in Sonobus. One person asked in the comments if you need an interface to use these programs, and basically you don't absolutely need one, but you probably want to use one and or use a wired microphone with like a USB cable. If you did use the internal microphone, the program would work, it just wouldn't work as well, so you probably don't want to do that. One thing you want to consider with all these programs is the time and day and what other people are doing on the internet around you. Because the number of people and the bandwidth they're using, that kind of equates to cars on a freeway and congestion and traffic. So if there's more people using it, there might be just certain times that aren't great to have a rehearsal with your band. At the same time, you probably don't want to be playing music at 3 a.m. So you kind of need to figure out what works for you in your area with your band. Some people seem to prefer Jamulus, others seem to prefer Sonobus. I think that the overall speed of Jamulus is going to be a little bit higher, a little bit less latency. And Sonobus has decent latency, not quite as good as Jamulus, but there are a lot more options and it's easier to use the program. One thing that might help you when using these programs is to not focus so much on your original sound, but focus instead on what's heard by the other people in the program, because that's more a way to kind of sync up with the other musicians. With Sonobus, one of the first things that I noticed was that there seemed to be a higher fidelity, but pretty soon I also noticed that there was a higher latency. There's kind of a trade-off between those two things with any of these programs that you're going to use. It seems like Jamulus can overall offer a little bit lower latency, but it can be a little bit harder to use. If you're tech savvy, Jamulus is probably the better option. And also if you want to have more people on a session, Jamulus will probably work a little bit better. But if you want to just get started without much hassle, you can probably get started easier with Sonobus.